Hey guys, this is Jamie with PC Monkey. We're bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. Uh, today we're going to be addressing a problem of if your laptop is not turning on, uh, if it's turning on and freezing, or if it's turning on and turning itself right back off. Laptops do this all the time, and these initial steps that we take, we're going to apply to all brands of laptops. Now with any uh, repair process in a laptop, there's going to be a troubleshooting process involved because with any one thing going on, there could be multiple reasons why it's happening. So to find the reason why it's happening, the general rule of thumb is we diagnose for the easiest or the cheapest repairs first, and then if those don't turn out to be the culprit, we move on to the more expensive or more difficult repairs. So in other words, when your computer breaks, you don't just go right for the motherboard repair. You try to find out what are the easier things this could be. So in this case, a computer that's not turning on, uh, turning on and freezing or turning on and turning off, the easiest things it could be are a static buildup, a bad battery, or a bad charger. So those are going to be the first things that we diagnose. Um, if you're on this video and your, your computer's turning on but the screen's staying black, you're on the wrong video. Uh, check out video number one in the description. Uh, that'll be a black screen fix for a computer that does turn on. Also, if your computer laptop turns on, it just gets stuck in a boot loop type of cycle where it keeps restarting. Again, you're on the wrong video. Check out video number two in the description. That'll ad address that. Uh, and also check out the frequently asked questions down in the description as well. It may save you some time. We do try to get back to your questions a couple times a day. Uh, but if we notice people asking the same questions over and over, we'll put those in, in, in the description. Uh, so to get started, let's do these tests. First thing you want to do, unplug your charger, flip the computer over, and take out your battery. This has an easy battery to remove. Uh, you just slide this, slide this, and it comes out. Uh, if I can get it out. Oops. All right, I got it out. Uh, remove your charger, remove your battery. If your battery is not easy like that, you can't just slide it out, check out video number three in our description. That'll show you an example of how to access a computer with an internal battery, because you do need to take it out for these tests. So we'll flip it over, open it up, we'll hold down the power key for a minute. What this is going to do is it's going to drain any static that has built up in the computer. If any of you have ever called a warranty line because uh, your computer's not working of any of the brands, Dell, Lenovo, HP, this is the first thing they'll have you do. No matter what your problem is, the first thing they do is have you remove the charger, remove the battery, and hold your power button down for a minute. Static buildup can mess your computer up a lot and it can definitely stop it from, from turning on. So after you've held that down for a minute, we're gonna put the battery back in. And we're not going to put your charger in, and we're going to go ahead and try to turn th the computer on. If your computer turns on, it means that your battery is good and your computer is good. It means that your charger is, is bad or going bad. Re replace your charger. If at this point your computer still doesn't turn on, then we're going to repeat the process for the charger. So take your battery back out. Hold on the power button for another minute. Once you've held that down for a minute, leave the battery out and this time plug your charger in. Now try to turn your computer on. If your computer turns on, same thing but in reverse. You know your charger's good and you know your computer's good, but your battery is going bad, replace your battery. So if, if, if this still doesn't work, uh, where we're at right now is that your charger, we haven't identified it as the cause, we haven't identified your battery as the cause, and the static discharge didn't work either. So where we are right now, where we go from here depends on your exact symptoms. Now if your computer is turning on, but it's freezing or it's turning off right away, go into video four in the description. That'll show you how to perform a BIOS reset on your computer, and that's where you would wanna go. If that doesn't work with those symptoms, check out video five. That'll show you how to perform a factory reset of your computer, and there'll be additional in instructions there. Now, if your symptoms are different, if your computer is showing no signs of life at all, it's not turning on and turning off, it's just dead, no lights, nothing, then try video four again, the BIOS reset. But if that doesn't work, you're going to try video six. That shows you how to test your charger. Um, we want to make sure that this charger is getting the right power to your computer. 
if you've tested your charger as shown in video six and you've confirmed that it's working properly, look at video seven. That'll show you how to test your power jack because if the charge is getting the right power to the jack, we want to make sure the jack's getting the right power to the motherboard. So video seven will show you how to, how to do that. So we hope that this was uh, helpful. Um, we hope that if this didn't identify the issue, we've at least set you off on a path of diagnosing various components deeper and deeper into the computer uh, so that eventually you will be able to find out uh, where this is coming from. Uh, so if this was helpful, please like and share. Uh, if you enjoyed Do It Yourself Computer Pair, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.